After sugar-coated pills, this may look quite appetizing, but in fact, it's merely 80 pounds of lead shot pulling on the chin strap of a crash helmet to test the harness. Just one of the many exacting tests a helmet has to survive to gain the British Standards Institution seal. pattern was set by the institution's technical committee who devised a specification that ensured the best possible protection without forgetting that the cyclist would also want something comfortable and not too expensive. Since then, tests carried out at this laboratory in Surrey have ensured that every type of safety helmet conforms to that standard. A preliminary check by assistant Sheila Thomas ascertains the clearance distance between the helmet's internal harness and its shell. Among those examined are prototypes, production models sent by manufacturers, and samples picked at random during spot checks. There isn't much future for these particular helmets, for even if they survive strength tests like these, it's not considered advisable to let them be sold. A diving helmet would look more at home here, for during the moisture resistance test, a helmet is sprayed for seven hours with 15 gallons per hour, equivalent to a very heavy rainstorm. The way a helmet will react to a heavy impact is discovered by dropping a four-pound steel ball onto it from a height of four feet. This is carried out three times at normal room temperature after bringing the surface to 120 degrees Fahrenheit to simulate the effect of hot sun and after the moisture test. A paper and carbon sandwich under the shell shows the effect. A telltale mark means a rejected helmet. The standards are high, but these standards are saving lives. <laughs>